when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash, and crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello! Hello, everyone! Oh, hello! Colonel Banzai here. So good to see all of you. Oh, since mumsy has been here, we have not stopped for one day. Day and night she's had us painting and hanging curtains, but I, I will say the place does look rather fabulous, don't you think? Yeah, I do. Oh, unfortunately, Mumsy came down with a terrible cold. Oh, I finally got her to lay down so I could get some, I mean, so she can get some rest. <laughs> get <laughs> some. <laughs> Mumsy! 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 Oh, oh, Mumsy! Hello, Peppa! Oh, 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 Mumsy's not here. She's not feeling very well. Not feeling well? Yes. Not feeling well? But, but she's a nurse. She's not allowed to get sick. Uh, well, nurses can get sick too, you know. Oh, but... She promised 800-pound gorilla she'd take him out for flying lessons. Oh. What did he say? He's disappointed. He's afraid he's going to be the last flying gorilla on the island. Oh, I don't think there's much danger of that happening. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great idea, 800-pound gorilla. What did he say? He said that we should go and pray for her. Oh, uh, that's a great idea. Uh, I'll wait here for Chauncey to bring the medicine back from Togo. Oh, yeah, that's a very sweet idea, 800-pound gorilla. I think Mumsy would love a bouquet of bananas. Oh. There's a tree right down by the runway with bananas all over it. Let's go get some. See you later. Uh, 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 give my love to Mumsy. <sighs> Oh, I do hope Chauncey comes back soon with that medicine. I hate to see Mumsy suffer like this. Uh, this must be how Jesus felt when he saw people suffering. Uh, Jesus always had compassion for those that were sick, right? Uh, I want to be more like him, don't you? I'd want to be like him, yes. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, there's Chauncey now. Oh, hello, Chauncey. Oh, he did actually land on us safe, safely. Oh, 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 no. Look out for the banana peel on the runway. <laughs> Tally ho! I made it, children. Fortunately for me, I crashed head first. Oh, Chauncey! Oh, good to see you. Oh, did, did you see the medicine man? Oh, I don't need to see any medicine man. I have a very thick skull. Uh, no, I meant for Mumsy. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, Dr. Umgawa gave me this syrup, and he said that if we gave Mumsy a spoonful of this, she would feel better right away. Oh, just a spoonful? Yes. And here's the spoon. Oh, yes. that's not a spoon, that's a shovel. Yes, it is rather <laughs> large, isn't it? <laughs> but Dr. Umgawa said if we made her drink all of it, she'd be up and running around like a new Mumsy in no time at all. Oh, good. I was just getting used to the old Mumsy. You don't suppose there's any way we could hide that for a day or two, could we? Algy! <laughs> Sorry, did I say that? <laughs> oh, I say, Algy. Do you know what I think? What? I think the best medicine for Mumsy would be a lovely Bible story. Oh, good thinking. Oh, I'll get it up right now. All right. I believe in miracles. Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> I know just the story to read as well. It is called The Healing of the Sick Woman. Oh, uh, we know a sick woman. Indeed we do. But this woman had been sick for many years. Oh, uh, do tell. Oh, she was sick for 12 years and her doctors could not heal her. And then one day, Jesus came to town. Oh, I think this one will have a good ending. I think you're <laughs> right, old chum. It's, it's the Bible says she thought to herself, Oh, if I could just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Oh, she thought that she could be healed by just touching his clothes? Yes, but there was a great crowd of people around Jesus, oh. and she couldn't get near him. Oh, so she got in an aeroplane and skydived into the crowd. Whoa! No, 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 Algy. No? no, there are no aeroplanes in the Bible. Oh, well, what did she do? Ah, well, she made her way through the crowd, stretched out her hand, 
and touched his cloak. And? And? She was healed. <gasps> it was a miracle! A miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> oh. Wait right here! Wait, wait, where are you going out here? Wherever is he going? To get the laundry. I'm going to dump all the clothes on Mumsy, and she will be healed, and it will be a miracle! A miracle! Oh, yes. A miracle! That's so good idea. Wait a tick, Algy. Oh. You can't heal Mumsy by dumping clothes all over her. Why not? Uh, Jesus healed someone with his clothes. Oh, no, but it was never about the clothing. No, his healing was much more. Oh, it was? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because Jesus... Healed because of her faith oh, okay. and because of his power. You see, the woman had enough faith to touch his clothes. And when she did, he felt power going out from him. Oh, you mean that Jesus has so much power that all you have to do to, is touch him to be healed? In fact, Jesus still has so much power today that all you ever have to do is reach out to him. And he will change your life forever. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, you know what else is incredible? Let's all say it together, children. Pinky's up. It's incredible, incredible but true what the God of wonders can do. Oh, oh, let's go pray with Mumsy right now. And we can reach out to Jesus together. Ta-ta, children. We're going to go pray for Mumsy's healing. Bye-bye now. <laughs> oh, this way. This oh, way, right brother. That way. Yes. Right this way.